This is the Charge Plus and the Charge TTI. The Charge is essentially a premium version of the Wave. The premium materials up the game on hardness. The Charge has a S30V blade. The Charge Plus has a 154CM blade. The knives get the material because they will hold an edge longer. And what holding an edge longer means is you don't have to sharpen it as often. Every year you might sharpen an S30V blade, whereas a 420 blade, you maybe you're doing that every other month. This tool now is featuring replaceable wire cutters. One of the issues with cutting hard wires and fish hooks and stuff is that you can damage the cutting surface. If that happens, um, you can replace these. I love being able to interact with uh, the user. Meeting needs that they have or ones that they haven't discovered they need. I think people were perfectly happy with a scout knife at some point where they would take the knife out and then grab the blade with, uh, with their nail and pull it open and then use it. But why not a one hand opening knife? That's a need maybe no one would have even have told you if you'd asked them. Big changes I think we can all see by looking at it, having outside opening implements versus having to dig around inside for everything. You know, one hand opening and stuff. Those are pretty obvious, but there's a lot of subtle things that are in there. And so smoothness is one. How do you measure smoothness? There's no smoothometer that we go and measure how smooth it is. But we do have high quality requirements for feel. So on some of these tools, there are bronze bushings. It's just a washer basically, but it provides a low friction surface. It's self-lubricating, bronze does that. You won't see that on the marketing's list of 21 tools that are in here. Um, you won't see, and it clicks to tell you it's open, but that's what it does. And it's just a, it's one of the many touches that are in here that have come over the years.